Welcome back to the Crime Hook. Today we have prepared a list of the top 3 prison escapes of all time. And on top of our list is Ted Bundy, December 30th, 1977. Dora Bundy has escaped, suspected of dozens of sex killings in Washington State, Idaho, Utah, and Colorado. I think things are going to work out. That's about all I can say. Bundy. Between 1974 and 1978, Ted Bundy raped and murdered young girls across the country, etching his name in infamy as one of the most notorious serial killers in the United States. When he was finally captured, Bundy was tried for the crime of kidnapping and sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. Despite his brutality, Bundy was generally described as an attractive, intelligent man. His sharp wit is also proven by the fact that Bundy fired his lawyers because he thought he was better suited. As part of that effort, the judge allowed him to remove his restraints while working on his defense in the prison library. All it took was one well-timed cigarette break, and he jumped out of the open window of the second floor room and successfully escaped. He traveled through the wilderness, dodging roadblocks and stealing supplies from cabins before he was recaptured six days later in a stolen vehicle. But Bundy would escape yet again, and this time with more success. Using the classic make your bed look like you're sleeping in it trick, he managed to climb through a vent in his cell to the apartment of the prison commander. From there, he made it to the top of the building and crossed to another area of the facility. There he found some street clothes in a janitor's closet and used them to walk out right through the front door. No one knew he was gone for another 17 hours, and by then, Bundy was on the other side of the country, on his way to Florida, where he would kill once again. Eventually, Ted Bundy was recaptured and found guilty on 36 counts of murder, and sentenced to death by electric chair. He didn't escape that one. Before we go on to the next, have you subscribed to our channel? If not, kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It's free anyway. 2. Escape from the Maze, September 1983. The uprising that is called the largest British prison escape happened in 1983 when 38 inmates escaped from HM Prison Maze in the United Kingdom. Most of the inmates at the facility were IRA soldiers, Irish rebels working to rip Northern Ireland away from the United Kingdom, so it's no wonder that such a large group joined forces inside the facility to devise an escape plan. With the help of smuggled weapons, the participants began disarming the guards one at a time on a September afternoon, holding them hostage to prevent them from sounding the alarm. Within a half hour, the prisoners completed their plans, stole a food transport truck, and drove off away from the maze. British police managed to arrest most of the prisoners the same day. Other escapees emigrated to the United States, where they were later arrested and returned to the UK. However, two prisoners have never been tracked down and their whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. During the escape, 19 guards were injured, but only one died from a heart attack. Number 4, El Chapo, 2001 and 2014. The Mexican drug baron dubbed El Chapo due to his short stature is the most powerful personality in the industry, the leader of the Sinaloa drug cartel. Joaquin Arquivaldo Guzman Lora by birth was first sentenced to 20 years and 6 months in prison by Mexican authorities on the charges of possession of firearms, drug trafficking, and murder. But Mexican prison was rather kind to El Chapo, as he spent his days behind bars, living luxuriously with his mistresses and bodyguards, thanks to generous bribes from the prison staff. However, when the US came calling, Guzman began to organize his escape. The prison suite he enjoyed in Mexico probably wouldn't transfer to the States, so he acted quickly to avoid extradition. In January 2001, a prison guard opened Guzman's electronic cell door while the maintenance man pushed a laundry container full of dirty clothes in front of the cell for El Chapo's taxi. He then loaded the dirty sheets onto a truck that carried the drug lord out of the prison. A follow-up investigation found that about 78 people were involved in the escape, costing El Chapo about $2.5 million, pocket change for a man of his wealth. In 2014, the cartel leader was in Mexican handcuffs again, and under a bit more security. Yet still, he escaped again. El Chapo, one of the most famous criminals in the world, 
didn't simply walk out of the prison but rode a motorcycle out through a tunnel that led from his cell to freedom that had been under construction for months. In 2015, America was granted extradition, and in 2017 Guzman was convicted, sentenced to life imprisonment plus 30 years in prison, and taken to America's most secure prison to live out his final days. That marks the end of our top 3 list today, watch out for part 2 of the list. Adios.